Hello, welcome back guys! This is Dika Kuro and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to set up your modded or vanilla land. There are going to be three parts to this video. One part of the video will show you the requirements that you need. The second part will show you the instructions of actually setting up your land. And the third part will be for troubleshooting if you're having any problems joining or uh, with setting up your land. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have uh, all of the requirements needed to set up a land server. So the first thing is that you need to have the same Minecraft version. Even if it's, uh, let's say, uh, 1.12 and 1.12.1, it has to be the exact same number. And if you do modded land, then it has to be the exact same Minecraft version and the exact same Forge version. Now, uh, before I continue any more in this video about the modded land, uh, I'm going to be assuming that a good idea of how to use mods, not just how to use mods, but how to use Forge, and I'm assuming that you've already downloaded Forge, and that you know how Forge works and how Forge installs. So, uh, yes, you need to have the same Minecraft version and the same Forge version. Uh, by Forge version, I don't just mean Forge uh, version for Minecraft, but the actual uh, Forge uh, launcher version, uh, because each different launcher of Forge has its own version, there's lots of numbers on the end. Okay, so I'm in my versions folder in Minecraft. So uh, this is my uh, finder page. You can see here that I have a lot of versions uh, saved, and a lot of them are off the fine. Here's Forge. So as you can see at the end of Forge, there's actually a bunch of numbers. In this case, it's 14.21.1.2443. For you and your friend, whoever you're doing your LAN server with, they need to be the exact same numbers. So you just have to make sure, over here, there's a lot of different numbers as well, here it's 12.2.1121. So uh, you need to always make sure, not just the actual Minecraft version, but the version of Forge itself. The next thing that you need to do is make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi. Uh, this basically means that you have to be in the house of the person who you're doing your LAN server with. It means that you cannot be uh, doing this from far away, they have to be with you, or at least in the same household. So uh, make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi and that there are no uh, issues with your Wi-Fi at all. If you're a modder, the next step is very important. Uh, you need to make sure that you have the exact same mods and the same mod versions. Because uh, each mod you know, has uh, different versions for it and has different versions of that Minecraft version. So I'm just going to go back to my finder page, go to my mods folder. These are my mods that I currently have in there. Uh, as you can see, there is 1.12 on it, because that's the version I have this mod for. But it also has 1.3.4 in this case. This mod has 1.2.6.1. Uh, this mod has 5.4.9. Uh, I just have to make sure they have the exact same version. The best way to make sure that you have the exact same uh, mod and the exact same versions for each mod is to uh, copy and paste these mods and send them to your friend, either uh, online, let's say by Mediafire, or uh, through a USB. That would be the best option for that. Next step is important for both vanilla LAN server makers and modders. So you need to make sure that the world that you're actually hosting doesn't have any issues. It usually doesn't, but if it crashes every time you open it, then it's definitely got an issue. And uh, for modders, I'm uh, assuming as I continue throughout the video that there are no issues with mods, because uh, for uh, you know regular modders, you know that you sometimes Forge crashes when it tries to open during the different stages because some mods, uh, some mods are glitchy, some mods don't work, and even sometimes when you try and open a world using mods, it'll just crash. So before continuing at all setting up a LAN server, you need to make sure that all of your mods and your forge are stable. You need to make sure that you can actually open the world, you can actually walk around and do stuff without it being very laggy. And the same thing goes for uh, even vanilla players, sometimes uh, your world is too laggy. So you need to make sure that it's a good, uh, non glitchy world. Now for the second part of this video, I'll be showing you the instructions of how to actually set up a LAN server. So now uh, here's my Minecraft page, I'm on 1.12.1. Uh, so what you need to do if you're setting up a LAN is go to single player, create new world, I'm just going to name this whatever, uh, go on creative, doesn't matter, create new world. So okay, once you're in your world and you know you make sure everything's stable, everything's uh, not laggy, or at least not too laggy if you have mods, uh, press escape, basically you go to your, you know, uh, go to the pause screen, and there's a button that says open to land. That's where you're going to need to click on. So do that, Set uh, put your settings, if you know, you're just in the survival world, you just may want to keep it survival, then you can choose whether you want to choose on or off, and then just do start plan world. And that's all you really need to do to set it up. Uh, there's one more thing I'd like to mention though, 
is that you may need to save this number that it gives you once you open your LAN because it may be important later what the, if you have any problems trying to join it. Now all that's left is for the second player to actually join the LAN server. So what the second person needs to do, obviously from a different account, is go to multiplayer, not single player. Then he'll need to scroll all the way to the bottom of the servers and it should show uh, a LAN server right here. In my case, I'm not because I'm just doing it from the exact same uh, computer. And uh, although I'm using someone else's account, it doesn't really work at uh, doesn't really work using my Wi-Fi. It doesn't work very often at least LAN. And uh, you know that's another reason why I'm trying to help you with this. So it may or may not show. If it does show, all you have to do is press on it and join it. That's it. As if you're joining any other server, and you should join with your friend. If you're having trouble with your LAN server, then the next part of this video might be with some help. So the first thing that you need to do is double check all of the requirements that I mentioned earlier in the video. Make sure that you have the same version, same forge version, same mod versions. Uh, make sure that your, the Wi-Fi is working and that the worlds are glitching. Make sure that you have the exact same mods, exact same ones, and make sure that everything is working in general. If you double check all of your requirements and there's nothing left to fix, then you may want to try just restarting your Wi-Fi or your computer, just like any personal work. Now, if that doesn't work now, if that doesn't work, there's a better solution to this. What you're going to need to do is connect your LAN server in a different way. Now, this is uh, this works if your LAN isn't popping up in the multiplayer area, so this may work. So what you're going to want to do is go to your Direct Connect and type in your uh, the IP of your Wi-Fi. The way to, the best way to get this is just to do a quick Google search. What is my IP? And if you just search what is my IP on Google, you should get it quickly and easily. So just copy paste that here. Then the next thing that you're going to need to do is get that number, put a colon before it, and then uh, put the number. Not that. In this case, it's 53757. And this may work. Now, if that doesn't work, there are still a few more things that you can do. What you can do is open a second launcher from whoever's hosting the server. He can open a second launcher and try and join the LAN server from there. Or even host a new one from uh, that second launcher. And that actually sometimes fixes the problem. And the next three steps that you can... The next three things that you can do are more of your last resorts if all of the following don't work. The best of these that you can do is switch your host. So whoever's hosting the server, try and do it on the other person's computer, or even if there are three people or four, do it on one of their computers. Sometimes it's a computer problem and it just works on another person's computer. If that still doesn't work, then you may have to resort to going to a different Wi-Fi location. I'm not saying replace your Wi-Fi, I'm saying if you're doing this with friends, you may want to try it over with uh, his Wi-Fi. Or uh, if you have a second Wi-Fi network, you may want to try using that. If all of the above don't work, or if you just have any questions in general, you can always leave a comment on this video, and I will definitely make sure to read all of them. And I'll, and I'll definitely try to answer as many as possible. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up modded land or vanilla land. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel and like this video for support. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.